guys, so today I'm going to do a comparison video between different brands of crackle polish. If you don't know what it is, if you've been living under a rock for the past six months, um, it's basically a nail polish that cracks on your nails. Um, depending on how much you apply, you can get um, a kind of more thin, cr like really shattered effect, something more like that. Um, and if you put it on a little bit more thick, you can get something a little bit more chunky kind of it, it depends on how you put it on usually the thinner you put it on um, the more it cracks um, really thin cracks and the thicker you put it on the more chunky it cracks with maybe only a few cracks so that's the basic premise they're all pretty much the same all these brands I'm about to show you but there are certain ones I dislike more than others so I'm just going to explain that why so the first brand I have is Sephora by OBI this is the only one I've tried and it is Blasted Gold and it is a gold um, out of all the brands, um, this is not my least favorite, but I do not like it quite as much as um, many others. This color in particular is gold, but it has a lot of silver in it, so um, I find it, apl it applies okay. The brush is fine, everything. It works, you know, pretty well. But this color, I find, just the brush, just by the way, um, is a little bit picky, and the silver kind of muddies colors a little bit. I have it here on top of a purple, and I don't know, I feel like the gold and silver is a little, little bit, like, it kind of overwhelms colors. The way it cracks, it kind of um, covers the color, so it doesn't really let it, the color underneath show quite as much. It's just, um, it's a very complex shade, and, I mean, if you like gold, I maybe recommend it, but um, it's not my favorite gold out there. Um, so yeah, that's the 4 by OPI. Um, next we have Sally Hansen. They're called Crackle Overcoats. I have Cherry Smash, which is red, and Vintage Violet, which is purple. This is my probably least favorite formula. Um, the brushes, I will say, are very finicky. When I first got these two, the brushes were all frayed and really kind of cheap quality. They're a little bit better now, but I don't know. They're just very, yeah. The formula is very thin, so you have to kind of apply a thicker coat, but once you do that, um, these kind of crack un the most unevenly out of all the brands um, that I found. Um, like, here's the purple, and I don't know if you can see, but like, I don't know, in some places it's really thin, other places it's more chunky. It's just not very even. The same with the red. I applied a pretty even coat, but it still is crack kind of chunky, which is not what I was going for with that swatch. So, I don't know, I just find them a little bit thin, the formula, and a little bit picky, and the brushes are not the best, so they have some interesting colors, but um, definitely not my favorite of all of them. So those two are my least favorite, the Sephora and the Sally Hansen. Um, and the red, by the way, is very finicky because it, it's hard to show up on other things. I put it on top of a white just so you could see it, but um, because it is kind of thin, it won't really show up on dark colors, which is kind of sad. And same with the purple, it's kind of sheer. So those, yeah, not my favorite. Um, next to my second to favorite, um, yeah, um, OPI. This is, um, it's just called Shatter. I think they were, they're not the first ever, but, um, I have more of the more popular brands. I know other small brands make them, but I have not tried those. I know, um, the Nicole, OPI, whatever, she has one now. And Barry M has one, and all other kinds, but I have not tried those, so. These are the more advertised, um, more marketed ones, the ones that are in Ulta, so that is that. So, yeah, um, I will start with, I'm just going to grab them. So we have Silver Shatter, um, Black Shatter, White Shatter, Turquoise Shatter, Blue Shatter, and Navy Shatter. Now, I like this formula. I will say, though, it is very... Thick. Out of all of them, this is, I find, the most thick. And this white one in particular, I put this under hot water for a full five minutes in order to get this, the cap off, the, the what, what, whatever it's called, um, to get the brush off today. And I've had the same problem with a couple other shades. Um, it's very thick, and I think it just kind of crusts under the screw cap, and it just gets stuck, and that's a pain. So it is a very thick formula. Um, but it is good. I don't like the brushes quite as much as some of the others because they're the typical OPI brush. They're bigger. They're the biggest out of all of them that I have. Um, so you kind of have just pretty much one good go. Um, and if you mess up, you mess up. So with the smaller brushes, you're able to get a more precise control of, um, the thickness, how it cracks, where it cracks. But with these, you kind of have to be careful. Um, 
because if you wipe it off too much, you get a very, very thin crack. If you don't do enough, it's very thick, so kind of a little bit picky. Um, let's try to find these. Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. So we have navy. I put it on top of like a nude, because this navy I find is very picky. Um, depending on what you put it on, it can look either black or it can look like this. But as you can see, in some places it's more blue, other words more navy. Kind of a picky shade, the navy. Silver, I put it on top of the one that came out with the collection with. Um, I like the silver, again, kind of like with the, the gold from Sephora. It kind of muddies colors a little bit. Turquoise, I love. It's brilliant. Um, no issues with this one. I put it on top of an orange. Um, I recommend that one. Blue, I don't know. I don't find it works on top of a lot of things, even on top of like a coppery color. I thought that would look cute. Um, I don't know. It just, it's not my favorite, and I don't know. I find it a weird color to work with. Um, black is just black. I put it on top of, where are you here? Black is black. Um, if I could recommend one, just get a black, um, because it works with the most things I find. White, I actually don't like very much at all. Um, it's kind of sheer. Um, it doesn't look good on a lot of things. Even, I, don't, I don't even know. I put on a, like a coral. I don't know. I just don't recommend the whites. Um, usually they're pretty sheer. Um, yeah, so that's OPI. I like them, but not my favorite. Now onto the final one, my favorite, um, China Glaze. So in the original collection, they, I, I have these three from the original one. This is Cracked Concrete, which is gray. Um, I picked that up recently. Um, Broken Hearted, which is pink, and Crushed Candy, which is teal. Um, these three, I must say, are my favorites out of all the crackers that I own. China Glaze, I find, is a perfect mix between the consistency of the formula and the brush. The brush is a lot thinner, um, so you're able to get a more precise result, but the formula is not very, it's not, like, too thin, so you're able to get that level of thickness that you want. I just find that this works best most of the time, um, so I highly recommend China Glaze. Definitely my favorite. So those three are... There's the teal on top of a baby blue. I love this combo. One of my favorites ever. Um, oh, goodness. Where are you, fellas? Oh, the pink I'm wearing on my nails on top of um, a yellow. Love that. And the gray I'm wearing on top of a silver. Yeah. I find these kind of interesting cream shades to work the best. Um, I think they look the best on top of the most things, um, better than a lot of the metallic kind of colors, so... Yeah, those three I love. And then recently, they just came out with Metallic Crackles. I've been stalking my Alta for the past month, begging them if they have it in. They always play dumb. They say we don't know when we get it in. So I just kept checking and kept checking. Finally, they got them in. Um, and there were three displays. Don't worry, I didn't steal from the world. There was plenty to go around. <laughs> it was funny, my mom, actually, I told her, I was like, Mom, we're going to go in and look for the Metallic Crackle. And we're in there for like a minute. My mom runs up to me with like three of them. She's like, look. I was like, Good job, Mom. I was like, I was so proud of her. She was like, I just saw them and I grabbed them. And I was like, thank you, Mom. She's just after my own heart. So um, we have oat metal, like, you know, fashion-y oat metal. It's kind of like an interesting um, pinky mauve color. Um, cracked medallion, which is like a bronzy color. Latticed lilac, which is a kind of interesting purpley kind of color. And then uh, my favorite of these, Oxidized Aqua. It's like a deepened teal aqua color. Really cool. Um, highly recommend these if you can pick them up. Again, I love the China Glaze formula. It just works. I put them all on top of the black because this is my first time using these four because I just picked them up. They're like new and fresh. Um, we have the oat metal. Oh my goodness, you cannot even see that. There you go. Oxidized Aqua. Yes, beautiful. Um, there's a Cracked Medallion, and the Latticed Lilac. So those four are the new Crackle ones. They also have a Gold and Silver, which obviously I already had, so no use getting those. Um, so yeah, that is my Crackle overview. I, oh my goodness, I don't even know where I was going, but I was trying to do like the cracked look on my face. Whatever, okay. And, oh yeah, um, so... I definitely like crack, as you can see, but I definitely recommend China Glaze the most. OPI is pretty good, but a little bit thick. Um, Sephora, it may just be this color. I haven't tried the other ones, but this one I just I just don't like very much. And um, Sally Hansen, nah, give and take, give and take. Um, so yeah, that is Crackle. Take your pick. I hope I maybe recommended some shade combinations. I don't know. This is not my best work, but some of them I like these shades and um. Yeah, so I hope you can see this pretty well, and I hope that helped, and um, good luck with your crackle buying. Um, so that is all for now, guys. Bye.